perhaps a Kirk's handicap. Really? Both those horses settle once more. And the lights are on. And they're off. Dunster Castle first to jump near the inside from High Waters and our Benny. And Kaldak began speedily with Arabian Flyer. Bull Juggler out fast towards the outside with Spring Hill Lad followed by Forgotten Ruler and Glory Canner. And Thalira has dropped out to last. 1,400 metres out and High Waters went to the front. Led by a length Arabian Flyer on the outside of Dunster Castle. Close in behind them is Kaldak being followed by Spring Hill Ladder. Very deep but going forward. Bull Juggler just in behind them. Our Benny on the inside of Forgotten Ruler. And Glory Can whipping around that pair is next in a length and a half Thalira. Up to the 1,000 metre point they travel now, and the leader High Waters are uh, about a length clear. Bull Juggler second, out very deep on the track. Glory Ken in company with Spring Hill Ladder. Over on the fence behind them is Dunster Castle, followed by Arabian Flyer and Kaldak behind them. Uh, forgotten Ruler up on the outside, a length further back is our Benny and Thalira last of all. Uh, coming down the side at the 800 metre mark, High Waters doing it well by a length to Bull Juggler. Very deep still, Glory Ken, Spring Hill Lad, followed by Dunster Castle, getting a lovely run on the inside, and right around them, Forgotten Ruler. Arabian Flyer followed by Kaldak. Kaldak, Thalira and our Benny. Down past the 600 metre mark, it's High Waters by length to Bull Juggler second. Dunster Castle nicely positioned on the inside. Forgotten Ruler, Arabian Flyer. And round the outside, then putting in a run is Thalira and Kaldak is looking for a run behind them as they come up towards the home turner. High Waters being pressured now by Bull Juggler, Forgotten Ruler. Nowhere to go on the inside. Dunster Castle followed by Arabian Flyer. Kaldak and behind them, Thalira as they straighten up. Bull Juggler takes the lead past the 200. Is clear of Forgotten Ruler down the outside being followed followed by High Waters and Dunster Castle and Cold Actors running on, but it's Joel Juggler's day today, and Bull Juggler comes away to win it well. Bull Juggler is first, Forgotten Ruler second, and Dunster Castle third, then Cold Act followed by High Waters, and further back is Thalira, Arabian Flyer, Spring Hill, that our Benny, and last to finish is Glory Kent. Bull Juggler, the winner down there in Melbourne, race for the Kirk's Handicap, and here the rain is still coming down. Looks to be close, but the running's good. Tremendous confidence in each other. Edgar and Wright not hesitating on the call. And uh, the South Africans have made 19 in reply to that big total made by the New Zealanders. We're going to take you down now for race five to Mooney Valley, and uh, here is your caller. Last start winner here over this distance on a heavy track. Now moving in is Jessa Ben. Darling moves up. Destry girl, Boobery Mist, returning after a spell. And Boobery Mist coming up. She's the favourite on the tote at three to one. It is four to one about Darling and four to one number seven, respective. Hasn't had much luck at the last two starts, respective. They're all in and set to go in the race for the mares, the Coca-Cola Bottler's Plate. First leg of the double here in Melbourne. Standing by for a start. Lights are on and they're off to a good start. Respect have jumped out well towards the... Oh, Chinquillo's missed the start by 12 lengths. Chinquillo's missed it by 12 lengths and getting away very quickly on the outside. Destry Girl takes up the running with Turner to Dundee. Boobery missed in behind them. Respect on the inside is fourth, being followed by Jewel Reason. Then Sagacious Lass on the inside of Silk Shalala. Length further back in the field. Funny Knuckle followed by Tujur Gay and Gala Double. Two lengths away, Darling. Third last followed by Jezebel and two and a half lengths away, Chinquillo. On the uh, school side, 700 metres left to go. It's turned to Dundee by length. The Boobery missed in respect of getting a lovely run on the inside as third. Uh, they're followed by Destry Girl. Just in behind them, Sagacious Lass, followed by Jewel Reason. Uh, Funny Knuckle back behind them, Silk Shillali improving. Gala double, two Jorge behind them. Darling's a long way back with Jezebel and Chinquillo. Uh, up to the home turn, turned to Dundee by three quarters of a length on Boobery missed in respect of just in behind them with a the run of the race. They're followed further back by Sagacious Lass and back behind them, Jewel Reason, followed by Destry Girl. Uh, around the home turn, turn to Dundee, straightened up a length and a half clear, in second place, Respective running on pretty well, followed down the outside Boobery Mist, turn to Dundee is the leader Respective coming down the outside with Boobery Mist and flying home on the outside Sagacious Lass, turn to Dundee, still in front, close to home, she'll just hang on turn to Dundee has won it from Boobery Mist or in the third place there, Respective in fact tight for, the, for that uh, placing between that pair, Boobery Mist and Respective right on their heels, Darling out very wide on the track and they were followed home by Sagacious Lass and Jewel Reason and then a long break, Silk Shalala, followed by Destry Girl, Gala Double, Chinquilla made up some ground after that very bad start, followed by Tujor Gay and Funny Knuckle, and the last time is Jezaban. Turn to Dundee, the winner there, hope you're on it. Would have been very nice. Race five at Mooney Valley, and your caller was John Russell. We've been showing you some highlights. Race five at Mooney Valley, number five. Turn to Dundee, paid $6.10 and $2.30.
He's... And time now for race six at Rose Hill. Your caller is John Tapp. All sea rhythm going up. To Rose Hill where this howling southwesterly continues and uh, it's uh, an eerie sight from our vantage point here at Rose Hill Racecourse looking out towards the north and the northwest. Smoke pall everywhere you can see and it is certainly a black Saturday in Sydney. Now we're within 90 seconds of a start in the race at Rose Hill, race six, the William Inglis Flying Welter. It's a fairly wide betting race at the moment. Welsh Miner, McDitman's Mount is at five to one. Guard's Time is at five to two. Bay of Hope is at 30, as is County Way. Cash on schedule, 13 to two. Seven to one, Sea Rhythm. Seven to two for Opus. And 20 to one, Stolen River and Merlot at odds of 15 to two. Now the line's taking good shape. Now the line's taking very good shape here. We appear to be waiting only for Welsh Miner. And they'll be uh, on their journey in the William Inglis Flying Welter. Stolen River stands in well with Opus. Sea Rhythm. And here's Mick Dittman moving in on Welsh Minor. Guards time faces up squarely with cash on schedule. County Way. Starter Billy Dale looking at his watch and sees that they're right on starting time as he climbs onto his rostrum. Set, hits the button and they're off and there's a beautiful start. Came out almost as one with Stolen River bustled hard just in front early over Bay of Hope. Guards time jumped away smartly as now easing back so is Sea Rhythm followed by Welsh Minor then County Way Opus and Cash on schedule and Merlot dropped out last. At the end of 300 Stolen River led at a good pace by a length on Bay of Hope at the 1000 mark. Running third now on the outside Guards time followed by Sea Rhythm on the fence racing with his mouth open at the head of the others Welsh Miner on the outside of County Way a gap to cash on schedule followed by Opus and Merlot back at the tail 700 out Stolen River the leader Bay of Hope second Sea Rhythm third guards time a half length away on the outside followed by County Way and Welsh Miner Merlot moving out three deep as they near the turn and the last couple Opus and cash on schedule to the corner 500 out Stolen River led over Bay of Hope Sea Rhythm on the fence guards time easing out three deep Merlot is carted right off the track followed by County Way and Welsh Miner with cash on schedule pulled to the extreme outside as they turn the corner Stolen River the leader over guards time Merlot putting in a dash coming to the 200 mark Stolen River Merlot looks the danger cash on schedule on the extreme outside with the last shot at them he's still in it with a big hope cash on schedule here comes cash cash on schedule on the extreme outside hit the lead close to home and the Bruce Johnson galloper cash on schedule raced away to win I think Merlot second thirds close Welsh Miner or guards time followed by Opus and then Stolen River further back County Way followed by Sea Rhythm and tailed off last Bay of Hope. Now the winner, cash on schedule. Number six, Corey Brown, $7.70 and $2.10. Uh, second, looks like Merlot, number 11, a place dividend of two fifty. Thirds close. Number one, Welsh Miner, $2.00. And Guards Time is the other one in the photo for third, $1.60 as we return to the Gabba. Here at the Gabba, the score has increased by about five since our cross to the race six at Rose Hill. And so up on the board, they've still got required 25 overs, which uh, is incorrect. I've just changed it now to 23, which is correct. To Rose Hill, in uh, an eerie light, as you can imagine now, with uh, this part of Sydney ringed by bushfire. And it is indeed uh, a very, very eerie sensation looking out from our broadcasting box. Visibility failing rapidly now. Five to two, Belford, Mick Dittman's Mount. Money Road is at nine to one. Six to one for number eight, Cheval de Rouge. Fairly strong late tip, Cheval de Rouge. Big strong chestnut horse. Rider of Money Road out of the saddle. Now number 10, Tranter is at seven to two. Carries clubs colors if you're looking for him in the run. Pink with green armbands and a green cap on Tranter. Vigilant, 40. 20 for number 12, Southern Double. Happy Stardom is at seven to two. He's well in commission. And nine to one, number 15, Minor Tocta. Now there's Vigilant going up into line, so they're just about set for a start. 
rider of money rode back in the saddle and there's the starter Billy Dale onto his rostrum has the button and in this very eerie light they're often running in the Moorfield Cup good start seven double bounced out in front of minor talk to money road Belford's going to hop into the box seat happy start him out deep and the rider is a to go forward followed by Cheval de Roos going a bit keenly Tranter next on the outside and dropping out two lengths last is vigilant in the run to the first turn 1700 meters out happy stardom out on a limb and Moses has no option but to kick up and go to the front happy stardom led to the back over money road southern double followed by Belford and then minor Tochter. a length and a half further back is Cheval de Roos followed by Tranter with vigilant last of all as they swing into the back straight 1400 out there slowing now happy stardom by a length to money road third southern and double fourth Belford followed by minor Tochter Cheval de Rouge on the outside of Tranter and two and a half lengths away last as they go down the back of the course is vigilant 1200 out happy stardom being rated beautifully in front led by a length to money road three quarters away southern double a length to Belford a bit more than a length to minor Tochter a length to Cheval de Rouge a length to Tranter and a length away last is vigilant as they go by the 1000 mark and happy stardom is in front now money road is going to his girth in third place a length away southern double three quarters to Belford getting a nice run followed by minor Tochter Cheval de Roos vigilant about to take off and dropping out last in the club's colours is Tranter they've quickened a bit at the 700 mark happy stardom by a neck to money road southern double third followed by Belford and the big chestnut Cheval de Roos is now taking off followed by minor Tochter Tranter and vigilant again went back to last but is only five off the lead look at this charge coming around the corner happy stardom money road dropping off Belford claims happy stardom and Belford hit the front as they they turn for home in the Moorfield Cup. Belford is clear, straightening up over Cheval de Rouge. Happy Stardom's gone. And then Southern Double and Tranter. But it's uh, Mick Dittman on Belford going for home at the 200 mark. He's well clear of Cheval de Rouge. He's grinding on in second place, followed by Tranter. Belford clear with 100 to go, holding them safely at bay. A treble coming up for uh, the Hawks camp. And Mick Dittman as Belford wins, easing up. Now pretty close for second. Tranter on the outside or Cheval de Rouge, followed by Southern Double, Minor Tochter and then happy stardom and the last couple were vigilant and money road it's truth it's getting dark now at rose hill belford a winning treble treble for mick dittman john hawks jack and bob ingham belford pays three dollars twenty and a dollar sixty close for second number ten tranter on the outside a banks one dollar fifty or cheval de rouge number eight a place dividend of 190 and the winner, Belford, uh, must be a versatile sort of a horse because the last time he won on this track, the going was bordering on heavy. But there it is, another one for Belford, who is a five-year-old by Sackford out of Silver Bell, and he's going to pay 3.20 and 1.60 as we return to the Gabba. Three for 105 here at the Gabba. South Africa, well, they're not getting on. With Good them. news for South Africa because they've got to move along as you saw uh, that run rate has pushed right up well over eight now 